What is up, everybody? That's right, it's your boy Bloodstalker. And yes, we're doing a vlog. It's about that time again, I guess. So what's going on, everybody? Yeah, we're back with another vlog. Just chilling, hanging, a, having a good day. It's Sunday for me nasty weather here it started sleeting rain last night and now it's above freezing but it's just raining all day long and we had to go down to hot springs to pick up a package that my wife had ordered and it went to the different store in hot springs yeah that was my life so anyway so what's been up with everybody we're all having a blast if you haven't been on the discord you need to check it out um the links i'm going to start putting the links back in the video because according to youtube they should be able to go I have noticed that the videos I put links on have not gotten as many views. I don't know if that's just because of the video itself or what. Or everybody's just tired of me. Could be that. However it is, new things and more fun, interesting stuff's coming to the channel. It may be looks at old games like Survive Island. If you haven't seen that coming out, there's been some updates and some stuff done to it. And it's actually worth taking another look at. And I started playing around on it just trying to do some stuff and have fun with it. Um, also, there's another game that we played a long time ago. I'm still debating on playing. I've been playing it just in the side time, just having fun with it. But my time at Porsche, um, there's been a lot of updates to it, too. It's it's not a traditional game we play on this channel, but it is still kind of fun and, and enjoyable. It's kind of like Animal Crossing, but just derpier and funnier to me. I don't know. It is a little bit, can be a little vulgar, if you know what I mean. So what else is going on? Well, there's going to be some new games coming out to the channel pretty soon. Some new early access games. Some games you probably won't see anywhere else but on this channel. Uh, with that being said, I think we need to talk about this. Um, I got approached by a developer by the name of Luna Day. They're subscribers of the channel, him and his wife. Um, Luna Day is a game studio that started up with a group of friends, kind of like how the Four Horsemen and kind of like how our channel is, on the, basically how the YouTube channel is. We're big about finding people that are like us, that like to play games and have fun. And that's what we do. If you come join the Discord, you'll see it on there. We all just hang out in a general banner room or whatever game we're playing, and everybody just chills out and has a good time. You're never without somebody to play a game with, almost. It's a good way to find people. But anyway, enough about that. So, Luna Day came up to me, and they approached me about this. And it's a, they showed me the Kickstarter video for it. And they do have a Kickstarter out there, which I'll post a link down there. And we'll also be posting it on the Discord. But the game that they're talking about is called Shifted Earth. Now, it is a very aggressive project, but it looks really good. It's built on Unreal Engine, the new one, 4.27, I believe is what he said. The footage that, um, that's out there on the Kickstarter video is about two months, three months old. It was done right after the update and the conversion over to 4.27. There had been some changes to the back end of the game. And I'm kind of just rattling stuff off. And Shifted Earth is a really interesting look. It's, a P it's going to be a PvP game, but not in the aspect of what you think. You, can't, you don't want to kill people on site. You have to build relationships because it's kind of like in the sense of how State of Decay is, how you have to have builders and other people of classifications, just like on modded 7 Days to Die and even 7 Days to Die. To an extent you want to have people focus on certain aspects of a game well in this one in shifted earth you have to you have to create relationships with people in order to use their abilities because you can't do it all you can be a jack of all trades but a master of none true but you have to specialize oh yeah you do so with that being said it's a different type of pvp game now the other part of it is it does have a pretty intuitive ai um the ai is something that you have to learn to build a trust with you can't just become friends with them you have to learn you have to earn their trust or earn their earn their attention i guess in a sense but you can hire ais to do things for you in there now you could always do it better yourself or gather more yourself but with the ais you get a, you get an added bonus if you're by yourself now it is it's it's, it's going to be first it's going to be um, single player when it first comes out We'll be getting it on the channel probably a couple months in advance before it even comes out. We will be doing key giveaways once the game's out there and everything. And we're going to be doing a lot of stuff with this game. I'm pretty excited because this is, you know, we've, we've done first looks at new games out there. We've stumbled upon stuff like Korma, Empires. Um, even Winter is coming when he was working on that. Um, but there's a lot of stuff that we, we, we like to do on this channel. And one, that support people who not only play the games, but make the games. Because, well, let's just be honest. We wouldn't have anything to play if nobody made it. Think about it. Some deep shit right there, man. I think I just got all philosophical on you. I'll give you a moment to digest. Just take a deep breath. Let me know when you're done. You got it yet? Okay. I know it was some deep shit. We'll pull back from that and go back to the humor part of it. So anyway, I'm going to be showing the video for it. 
Um, check out, this is the Kickstarter video one. A new video is going to be coming out, I believe he said Wednesday or later on this week. So we'll, I'll be popping up information on this too as well. Um, just doing some follow-ups and things like that until we actually get to start playing the game. Once it gets out though, it's going to be amazing. I'm, I'm really excited about getting into this because I was a big Rust player and it kind of instills the old Rust legacy kind of feel to it and a lot of the components of it, but just not the kill on sight. Pretty much a lot of PvP games, that's the way it is. I mean, we all know that. Anyway, this is called Shifted Earth. I hope you enjoy it. So it's a pretty cool little demo. It doesn't really show off everything that the game's capable of. Um, when I originally talked to him about the game, he kind of I asked him you know some questions. We talked back and forth, and he gave me a really interesting story behind the the background of it, which I wasn't aware of until we talked. And that was like I said earlier, is that it's a group of friends that they've known each other and played games together for a long time. And they've they've all all six of them are working on this project together. They're putting their own money and time into it and trying to make something out of this. They've got a very, very well laid out plan. Um, this isn't something that we've done typically where it's one developer working on the game and trying to do the advertising and everything themselves. They've got everybody, everybody has a function in the group. It's a very tight knit unit. It's very well organized just from the discussions I had with him. But I did ask him for a little bit of information about the game. Um, one of the things it touts is, like I said, is it, it, it touts a very unique AI behavior. Um, they'll, be, they'll be play more like players than a buggy and glitch bot that we always see and stuff. Now that's something that uh, AIs are always hard to do in a game. So, with that being said, it's going to be a little bit more intuitive. Um, it allows small groups to be able to use these tools, like the AI like that, in order to be able to start branching out and extra ex establishing their own little area, their own little base. Um, it's all going to be predetermined once you get into the game and start messing with it. Some other things in the map design. Now, Alpha Map is going to be released as Arizona, the state of Arizona. True story. It's actual location, a random location where you start in it. Now, from there, all 50 states are going to be added in batches of two to three, basing on the size of the of the of the state. This is the first time a game developer is actually using the actual map of the United States. You can be able to play across. So much potential, so much ability to do in this game. It's a well laid platform. Again, I always talk about it. you got to have a good foundation no matter what you're doing. This is one hell of a damn foundation. This is like taking reinforced concrete and putting wood on top of it. You know what I'm saying? This thing's built hella real. There's going to be a skill tree system, things like that. Now, what really intrigued me was just the simple fact of how beautifully the graphics were right off the bat. Um, a lot of the games we play early access are not... The, the, it's a little, they're a little rough-ended, you might say. This one reminds me a lot like Korma. And that's just for the simple fact that Korma's on that new engine as well. There's going to be a, a looting loot, loot system, trading center, things like that. And there's going to be a whole lot of new things coming out. Now, each state is also going to have a faction, too. There'll be one to three factions in there, and you can choose to join one or, or not. But how you get through that, how you deal with things in that, in that state, trying to get through that state or trying to get across it, you still have to deal with it. So you're going to have to find a way to either kill them all or run from them. True story. So, with all that being said, 
I'm going to be doing a lot more information, a lot more information videos about this. As the new footage comes out, I'll do a video on that talking about it or whatnot. That being said, check out our Discord. They've got their own Discord set up. They're just getting into all that. So, hey, go give them some love out there. Like I said, I'll put the links in there below. I also have the links on Discord. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's about it for that part of the, the game video. So, with that being said, we're going to be seeing a lot more of this as it comes out. A lot more of the videos and updates and information like that. I kind of didn't touch into everything. He sent me a pretty good document, Word document, lit up, written up with all this stuff in here. And it's amazing. He's got the link down here into it and everything. Um, there's going to be some crazy stuff in this game. It's going to be something I'm really curious to, really curious to see how it turns out and see how we all re react to it and to see for the first footage. So... I don't know. I'm pretty excited about that. And that's something pretty cool for this channel to be able to do that with somebody. So, other than that, you know, we're still going to be playing a lot of the same games we've been playing. You're going to see Seven Days to Die kind of kind of tone back a little bit. I want to start doing some more modded stuff. I want to do multi multiplayer modded because Darkness Falls is way too damn hard. I'm telling you, it's really hard. Um, but for the next couple of weeks, content's going to be, I don't know, might be next month. My real job is going to start impacting my YouTube stuff. A um, little bit have to work late more, whatnot. So I'm probably that it's going to affect streaming the most, and that's what pisses me off because I was just getting back in my stride on streaming. So we're gonna have to wait and see what happens. But archery season still going on, things like that. Once everything starts winding down in the next couple of months, things will get back to hopefully to a normal balance on here. But it looks like that. I, ho I hope that doesn't turn into it where YouTube's going to have to become secondary again, like way in the background. I don't want to do that because I really love doing YouTube. I enjoy it more than my real job. It just doesn't pay the bills, sadly. But I want to grow this channel to something special. I want everybody to have a place where we can come hang out, whether it's on Discord, in a game, watching a video together, whatever, watching a stream, where everybody has a good time and has fun. I know that's kind of sappy and sad, but that's what I want to do. You know, when I started YouTube, I didn't expect it to be... I, I, I did it for one uh, for different reasons. What it changed and became kind of grew into its own self, and this channel has become its own thing. I can't stop it. I could try. I could stop posting videos a day. I don't know if that would stop it. I really don't. We keep growing more and more every day. Um, how, I don't know. Why, I don't know. But I can't say thank you enough to all you people who've joined it. True story. True story. Anyway, I've been your lovely host, Bloodstalker. This has been my vlog. Hope you guys love seeing the information about Shifted Earth. I hope you guys get excited about it and see what it's going to be like. It's going to be so much fun. I can't wait. It's going to have a unique inventory system. It's going to have so much stuff that we're not, we're, we've all wanted in games. And that's one thing I love about, about game developers who are gamers. So, anyway, next time, you know the drill. It's your first time stopping by. Why you watched the vlog, I don't know. Was it the beanie? Was it the old man looking? I really am old. It's a true story. We're all old though. Ha ha. Anyway, till next time, you know the drill.